All right, so what do we start with today? What was I going to do? Uh, we could do a Ring of Chaos run again. Who's a good character for that? Who have I, I not done much of? I don't really like the Mad Scientist. Let's actually go Beaked. I haven't really done Beaked a whole lot here. Okay, so another... Choose another. So what is this? Whenever you play a card, heal one. So I never want to use that. Let's get a random common relic. Ignore the first wither effect each combat. Oh, interesting. So I can reliably have one wither wither card and do fine. Um, hmm. Not much of a mystery machine here that I'm looking at, which is disappointing. Do we have... No, we don't even have much of a mid-boss chain. At most, I could get two. Uh, there's an... Okay, there's a there's a mid uh, mystery machine over here. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get... Uh, what the... Why are the portals up here? What's even the point of this? Who would do this? <laughs> Look at this! Why? It's like, okay, you came to the top. Now, do you want to go to the other side? With that bonfire? Mmm, that'd be glorious. Why... Okay, so let's take this. This is a strong mystery machine. I'm not actually sure if the uh, mystery machine is a, a wise deal on beat, but whatever. Let's see. So is the fiery mid boss a super mid boss? No. Uh, so the fiery mid boss is actually a. Um. Do I gain the ritual or do I just fight them conventionally? Let's just fight them conventionally. I like the ritual, but. Uh, it's better that I actually just fight the louses the boring way. There we go. Eh, worked out about as well as it could have. Okay, insight. At the start of your turn, shuffle an inspiration into your draw pile. Inspiration, unplayable status card. When drawn, it exhausts and draws two more cards. So that effectively increases my draw. Foresight gets me an extra energy in the next round. Or if the enemy intends to attack, lose HP equal to half its total attack damage. Okay, so it effectively... That's interesting. We need energy gens, so let's go Foresight. Because we've got some expensive stuff. Ooh, Golden Idol. And let's take the damage. We've got healing, and things are pretty reliable. Uh, anyway, so the uh, the fiery mid-boss is not some kind of super dangerous mid-boss thing. It's actually just a... Uh, it, it just gives you a key. It's not actually any stronger. Uh, it just gives you a, a bonus reward. Uh, that lets you go fight the heart at the end. Um, which is... That is the bonus boss in and of itself. So what's the catch with my starting relic? This is Mending Plumage. Uh, whenever you play a card, heal 1 HP. So effectively, uh, Beaks doesn't have a very high HP total. Uh, which is a bit of a... Bit of a toughie. Uh, but he makes up for that by healing 1 HP every time he plays a card. And you think that's pretty strong, and it kind of is, but honestly, uh, hmm, do we do flinch? This can be replenished at rest site, so we could grab flinch. Let's keep grabbing foresight, though. Foresight's too good, and we need the extra energy. Uh, get a relic for regret, or go max HP. We need that. Otherwise, it can get one or two shot, which is a problem. All right. So, lose ceremony. No, transform and upgrade a random card. We got, we lost, it looks like we lost a defend in favor of Wings of Steel. Eight shielding, eight block, six plated armor, and two wither. All right, so there's our wither card. And we don't want to, we don't want to pick up any other ones because this is too good. That is really good. Uh... Age shielding, block, plated armor, wither too. No, we gotta go ceremony if we're fighting this dude. Uh, we're gonna lose another one, but we need that strength if I'm gonna go up against Gremlin Knob. Uh, and I'm just gonna take damage here. I'd like to use the foresight, but I don't think so. Okay. And also, I love... I love this soundtrack. It's real good, but let's go back to Monument Valley. Full Metal Furies has a, a really solid soundtrack, but it's just a little bit too frenetic for me. I think, right now. So we want to go chill. Uh, let's see. So yeah, is this game any good? It is fantastic. It is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, it is... a little hard to get into, and it might not be the the uh, the most to look at sometimes. Uh, but I guarantee it's absolutely worth looking at. 
We gotta do a foresight, otherwise I'm gonna die. I do have the fairy bottle, but I really don't wanna trigger that. Okay, so we gotta do wings of steel, which is gonna piss him off more, but it gets me some extra stuff. Uh, we'll kill him on the next round. Okay. So, we actually want to piss him off further. How much damage is it? 16. Perfect. So let's do defend, defend, and a strike. Uh, the extra defense are just for extra HP. And Tin Flute. At the end of this run, pick a card, keep it with you. Neat. We grab the insight for the extra draw. It's tempting. What's the upgrade? So it makes it innate. That is a lot of draw. I just don't know if it's useful for what I'm doing. I'm gonna skip for now. Okay, lose fairy in a bottle. Relic, lose foresight. Lose gold. Let's lose 117 gold for the focusing shard. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. So I'm going to try and get my HP back. Obviously, the cultist is a bit of a spook, but that's fine. So let's do ceremony and a foresight. Wings of steel. Second ceremony. And unfortunately, he scales way better than I do, but I also attack way more often than he does. Uh, let's do foresight. And two strikes. We'll kill him. And the shielding... The shielding will... Work. Perfect. Oh, Wings of Steel is replayable. Well, we don't want to... We don't want to use it multiple times in a, in a fight. I should have defended first. Let's see. Dig deep. Heal for each ritual. That one's decent. Vigor boost. When drawn, heal three. When added to your deck, gain five max HP. Removed or transformed from your deck, lose five max HP. Well, that's really handy. Okay, so now we want that draw card. So whenever you play a skill that does not give block, gain two block. That's actually kind of nice. And yeah, I'm not going for the heart on the first round on, on this guy. That's a... That's a... That's bad. Well, it's not bad. Okay, wind drawn, heal five. Uh, eight block, two energy. Yeah, we gotta upgrade the foresights. The rituals are nice. Uh, but foresight is sustainable. Okay, so let's do Foresight and a Ceremony. Gonna hurt a bit, but that's fine. I've got healing. Let's see, if I looked at the remastering of the original Onimusha that came out on Steam, not really. Uh, to be totally honest, I've actually never played Onimusha, so I don't really have like a whole lot of compunction to immediately pick it up. Uh, it seems like the kind of thing that a lot of people that, you know, used to play, uh, or like played it when they were younger would probably love it, but... For me, I think it's just too dated. Maybe. Uh, bad timing. Let's see if we can kill him on the next round. He's going to flee, but I should be able to do a bunch of damage to him. Yeah, I got him. Okay, Awaken Form. Cost one less for each boss killed. Cards cost one less energy. That's really good. What's the upgrade? Can reduce costs below z what? Okay, do we rest? So awaken form admittedly is kind of useless now. It sucks a little. I could upgrade the next foresight. Real question is what boss we're up against. I mean, ha, yeah, you know what, let's, let's err on the side of prepping for the future instead of, uh, instead of immediacy. Who knows, we might actually be able to make this work. Uh, let's do a skill potion. What's it give me? Trade-off. Roost. Game block, increase the cost by one. Dark pack. What's a regret? Oh. Oh. Let's grab trade-off. Why did I do that? 
I don't know exactly why I did that. Okay, so we have one ceremony, and then we've got another one coming up. Uh, I should probably play these, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, it's per cost, uh, per boss killed, so this should be interesting. Okay, so we're getting a ton of HP here. Obviously, uh, put it off maybe a little bit too long, but that's fine. Uh, so let's grab, do we just grab Awakened Form? Makes the defend free, makes the strike free. The ceremony is just gonna cycle, that's okay. Alright, this feels good. And I don't actually want to do... Trade-off. But I can just use trade-off anyway if there's nothing left. Foresight, defend, defend, and strike. Yeah, as long as I have no cards in my hand, Foresight, Foresight's gonna be, or not Foresight, uh, the, the Exhaustion one's gonna be amazing. And since it's not actually one of my own cards, who gives a hoot? Well, this is a fun strategy that I've stumbled upon. And yeah, we actually have enough energy to, uh, to get that, that power going. Devastation. When you draw a depleted card, draw another, brace, retain, gain zero block, block increases by one for each card you play while this card's in your hand, exhaust. That's actually really good. Let's grab that. Okay, so that ceremony is pre-upgraded. So let's do Wings of Steel and Foresight. And just wait. Foresight is amazing. Okay. Because more or less lets me uh, be extra aggressive here without... Or not extra aggressive. Uh, it more or less funds my war effort. Like nobody's business. Probably didn't need to do that defend now that I'm thinking about it, but whatever. Alright, there's another foresight, there's a ceremony. Defend. We've got Brace, no biggie. And he'll hit me for nothing, he just hurts my... He just hurts my protection, which don't care. In retrospect, I should have done that feed run with this guy instead of Marissa yesterday. It was hilarious with Marissa. Oh well. Okay, do we do another ceremony? Let's probably do Brace, and let's kill him. Oh, I guess we're full health, so it doesn't matter so much. Evade. If the enemy intends to attack, gain three ener uh, two energy. Ooh, that's scary. Evade is interesting. What's the upgrade on it? Makes it free. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Uh, apparently it's uh, quest thing anyway. Perfect. Alright, and I'm full health. So, reaction wither reduce withering. Well, none of these are withered. Oh. No, that's currently withered four. Wait, what? Wither effect, current value 4. Permanently decrease this part card's power by the wither amount. When it reaches 0, card becomes depleted, can be replenished. I I thought we were supposed to ignore the first wither effect. I wonder if it's non-functional. Well, honestly, uh, let's actually... Let's upgrade Awakened Form, just so it's extra goofy. You wither the Wings of Steel when you put the card... draw card in your deck off the skill potion. Uh... Did I? I thought I only used it once. Yeah, I was under the impression that I'd only used it once, but I, I guess not. Let's see. Okay, so another for foresight. Give me evade, because no no reason why not to. Strike, strike, and we get a brace for eight. Honestly, this is the hardest TD he's going to throw my direction anyway. Oh, use the card draw one, which also had wither. Oh, and I used that one first, of course. Yeah, you're right, I did do that. Oh, well. Oh, I had bonus energy there. I wasn't even paying attention. Alright, uh, let's do... Let's do Ceremony. He's not going to hit me much. We'll just block. 
We get all of my, uh, ceremonies. All of my foresights. I have madcap energy and nothing to spend it on. That's fine. I mean, I get ridiculous. This is, this is a good run for this character. Normally I'm a little bit, uh, leery of using cultists just because. This is good. Alright, awaken form. Evade, defend, and defend. I don't actually need to do the evade. But yeah, we're good. Okay. So, foresight, foresight. And we'll use Wings of Steel because we haven't used it yet this round. So, okay. So I'll have to be more careful about using it. That's the secret he always intends to attack. We really could use Light Bulb with this run. With all the extra energy gen, uh, having that for drawing would be lovely. Okay, Owl Gaze. Done a rather random enemy. Refund three, wither minus one. Wait, what? Wait. Doesn't that increase the wither? What? Okay, well that's fine. Sacrifice. Deal 18 damage. Enemy heals for 18 HP. If this kills a non-minion enemy, gain 3 max HP. Uh, we should go Sacrifice. Sacrificial Scars would be good too, but Sacrifice does a bunch of damage and can heal. So what do we grab? Bond Pickup. Choose which to start combat with. Two Strength, Dex, or Focus. That's actually pretty good. Uh, Drowning is Terrifying, or... Upon playing a card, heal one. Every time you play three cards in a single turn, gain one regen. Oh... Oh, I don't know. Because special sausage with dexterity would mean uh, more durability, which is important. But I gotta go Blessed Coat. I play a lot of cards. The sausage is really good, though. But yeah, we gotta we gotta go healing. Okay, so good mystery machine over here, but no mid boss chain unless I want to fight a nightmare. And I really don't like fighting nightmares. They suck. Um, I haven't visited a shop yet. That's another thing to consider, because I could hit up this way or this way. Miss this shop, fight a bunch of enemies, get this, bonfire that. I'd only have one mid-boss. But I think no matter what, yeah, we're stuck with one mid-boss unless we want to chain a nightmare. I guess we can get to this point and decide if we want to fight a nightmare. So let's just do that. Go straight up. Eh, honestly, we only miss out on a regular encounter, so let's actually stop by the shop, see if there's anything amazing. We'll go from there. So, Wonder, why do you like this game so much? Because of the variety it affords. Almost no game I have ever seen or played has had this level of, like, wild nonsense that you can pull off as you play. Cool. So I do, at minimum, five damage to these guys. That's kind of handy. Admittedly, the birds are real scary against Beat. His defenses are kind of bad. Okay. I'm going to hit him with that, and then I'm going to just sacrifice him. He's not a minion, we get some max HP, and then I'm going to defend twice, because it's going to hurt. Um, but I really, I really like the variety in it. Every run is, is generally different. There's something really engaging about that. You know, I, I like, I like Binding of Isaac because it's in much the same manner. Every time I play it, it's, it's different and interesting and, and fun. And that's not always something I can say about a lot of games. Let's just pop Brace now. They're going to hit me kind of hard. And I want to keep as much of that protection I can as I can. It not, it's not much. Alright, you're going to hit me the most. So let's just knock down this bird. So we're going to take damage here, but it's no big deal. Yeah, I like it because I can lick enemies to death. I mean, that's 
That's a little... It's a little off the mark, but not that far off the mark. Yeah, either spinning top or or light bulb would make this run amazing. Sadly, we gotta wait for that, but that's okay. I scale better than this bird ever will. Aha! Alright, let's do Awaken Form, Foresight, Strike, Defend, and I'm not gonna do Wings of Steel because that'd be wasteful. Anyway, I will admit, we're probably only going to play a little bit of this tonight. I've been playing too much of it lately. Uh, so we're going to do Hades after this. Cursing Blood, no. Sacrificial Attack, deals zero damage to all enemies, strength effects, sacrificial two times, lose all strength. That's... worrying. I don't like either of these. I don't want to lose my strength. Sacrificial would be nice, but... Not this time around. Okay, so they're gonna hit me kind of hard. Let's just... Let's just... Ceremony and Brace. I should upgrade. When we get the chance. Let's do Wings of Steel, Foresight. I'd like to Brace, but no dice. Okay. Keep that damage off. Long enough that I can become ridiculous. So I can sacrifice somebody for a bunch of damage. Let's get some extra energy here. Um... Almost kill him. That sucks. Hop race. I'll be able to kill that guy in a round or two anyway. Okay. Ceremony. Foresight. Take some more damage. I don't know if I'm going to want to go after both gremlin knobs. I almost got killed by the gremlin knobs. Last time we were here. So I'm probably not going to go for the double fight after this. So it would be certainly entertaining. Okay, so I gotta get this... Actually, I don't have to get this guy any, down anymore. I just have to sack him. There he is. Sacrifice. 20, 27 day. What? Oh. Oh, I've been weakened. That's what's going on. Damn it. Because I want to sacrifice him. I want that max HP. We need it. Ah! Come back! Evade. Oh, there it is. Aha! Patience. Good things come to those who wait. So, do we go after the gremlin knobs? I'm gonna piss them off so hard. Let's not. Let's run. Because, yeah, one of the linchpins to this run is foresight. Without that, uh, without being able to use that, that, that limits me pretty hard. And I don't want to sacrifice him, obviously. Okay, Foresight, Defend. That gets me enough defense. I can't actually hurt him here, but that that's fine. Okay. Evade, Ceremony, Ceremony, Strike, and a Brace. There's, there's the strength I'm looking for. It's wall. Alright, uh, yeah, not going to be able to damage him with Sacrifice anyway. But it doesn't look like he's going to be able to hurt me anyway. Waken Form. Foresight. Evade. Defend. I can just cast them as many times as I want. Have I looked at the patch notes for Hades yet? Nope. I will, uh... I will look at, uh... Hades after this. I've been putting it off because, uh, I actually only vaguely knew the update was coming today. Uh, I wasn't exactly paying attention. Uh, and so, yeah, when I, when everybody shows up and tells me the news, it's like, nope, I haven't checked it yet, but I'm going to. Let's see, Survival Instinct can only be played if you haven't played any other cards. Gain in intangible become entangled. So I effectively wouldn't be able to attack, but I'd have intangible. Ooh, I don't know. What about upgrading this? It just becomes cheap. I like survival instinct.
that will be good, especially because a lot of big hits come through. Okay, so what do we got? Spend one ritual, gain one plated armor at the end of each turn. That's pretty dang good. Oh, get the slimy hat. Cool. Don't I already have an unplayable card? I do. Onion ring would be nice. Ritual of body would be cool. Effectively would mean every turn I would get more plated armor. Uncanny aura is great. Let's grab un uncanny aura. That could be really, really goofy with how I do this. Um... Probably not a not the best build. Oh, got to go up here. We'll see how it goes. Good face, bad face, or 100% best face. Okay, so whenever you enter a question mark room, get a give 50 gold, and I also feel more talkative. That's neat. So do I make? I I'm not even sure necessarily. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I certainly hope you guys like Kaka, because here we go. Okay, ceremony. Let's see, strike. And this is gonna hurt. So I might have to sell Cultist Headpiece or turn off my sound effects? Maybe. Hard to say. Now these are minions, which kind of sucks a bit. Now they're going to hit me for not much. Let's keep working on taking that off. We have Vigor Boost to keep us going. And unfortunately all these guys are minions, so I can't feed off of them. Ugh. Alright. Waken one ritual for obvious reasons. Ceremony. Foresight. Do we do Brace? Yeah, let's... Do brace here. I'm gonna do eight damage. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to kill any of them, so I'm just gonna get it so that they're all killable. All right. So ceremony, ritual component. Oh. Ritual component, ritual component. Ritual component. Ritual component. Ritual component. Uh, well, at least it's free healing. Now, I can't actually do survival instinct, even if I wanted to. So let's strike, kill that guy. And then defend twice, which isn't going to mitigate all the damage. In fact, I'm going to take a hit here. But that'll be fine. Happy six month resub, which apparently ought to resub, so I can't do the sub message thing. It'll come back, but thank you anyway. I'll take that as your preemptive message. Ha! Ah. Uh, let's see. Strike, strike, kaka, and summons a gooner. But that said, we're doing fine here. That regen is so nice. The kaka, maybe not so much so. I hope you guys get used to this. Because we're going to be hearing it a lot. So I have... Spend one ritual, gain plated armor at the start of every turn. It's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. And let's kill the guy that's about to attack me. So this is going to increase my plated armor. Uh, it does mean my strength gain isn't as good, but that's fine. So now we get free energy for doing ritual component. Which is insane! Probably actually have just hit this guy, but like, whatever, who cares? Kaka! <laughs> oh boy, look at this. Uh, let's see, so what do we have? I have evade. Kaka. 
And it's dead, so there's not really much I can do here. Well, this is fine. Okay, Vigor Burst, more Foresight, Ritual Component, Ritual Component. Evade again, defend because I can. I mean, effectively, I'm just going to be here turtling until I can actually start hitting the Headlouse. I need AoE in this deck, I just haven't seen any. But at least we can start uh, just smacking down his, uh, his little gooners. So... Oh, they're not going to actually hit me here. That's a weird feeling. Defend because I can. Ah! And thank you, Nikolaj, for the uh, three-month resub. How's it going? And welcome to Kaka. Okay. Have we just been really unlucky and not gotten uh, Uncanny Aura and Vigor Burst at the same time? Yeah, we straight up haven't gotten either. Uh, simultaneously. I'm a little... I'm a little grumple. Short and stout. About this, but that that's fine. Okay, so what do we... What do we do? More foresight? Ritual component, ritual component, ritual component. Ritual component, ritual component. We almost had the ability to do the, the thing. Oh, well. Uh, kill the louse. And nothing else. Yeah, we still don't have the uh, the combo. I I literally got Uncanny Aura so I could combo it with some other stuff. And we have had zero luck on that front, but that's okay. There's so many! And thank you, Darriot Killa, for the sub. And welcome to Kaka! Uh, your home of uh, endless amounts of bird noises. Okay, so... I should be able to kill him at this point. There we go, finally. Took forever to get that guy within sacrifice range. So, what do we got? Hunter Spirit, your next skill this turn is played twice. Gain dexterity equal to its cost. Yeah, that's amazing. Alright, so if I upgrade this, two strength and dexterity, that's pretty good. What is the upgrade? Your next skill this turn is played twice. Oh, equal to its cost, or twice its cost. Ritual of Body is two-plated armor at the start of each turn. Um, so what's the point of making cards go negative one? That makes it so they uh, you get energy when you play them. I'm gonna go Huntress Spirit, because that's reliable. That's something I can do frequently. Okay, so let's go up the other way. Uh, let's see. Do we want to do ceremony? Uh, I could evade, but nothing. But it gets me a little bit anyway. Yeah, whenever you play a skill that does not give block. Haha! Uh, it's convenient. This is gonna... No, no. I mean, this is gonna hurt. I'm gonna take some damage here. But, I guess I could have done Awakened Form. I still want the ceremony more. Alright, uh, let's see. Strike! Strike! Survivor! Or, defend. Uh... Let's see. So we have nothing that's gonna increase... What I want to do is effectively... Huntress Spirit... It'd be really hard to pull off, but Huntress Spirit plus Awaken Form someday... Would be actually hilarious. Anyway, we're gonna have a boatload of energy for the next round. Hehehehe. <laughs> Oh, I like where this is going. Alright, Ritual Component. Ritual Component. Ritual Component. Wings of Steel. Defend. Uh, yeah, he's not going to do damage to me. Strike, defend again for no good reason. Brace really isn't that helpful here, but that's that's okay. Uh, but yeah, hey, there we go. Now we have Uncanny Aura and Vigor Burst. Finally. Took long enough. Uh, but yeah, as for one of the other mods, if, if one of you guys wants to actually make a command about Hades for, uh, the small amount of time, oh, whoops, for the small amount of time that we're going to be playing this before, uh, I switch over to Hades, uh, it'd be nice if I don't have to feel 
Wander, have you seen Hades yet? I have. I just forgot that the update was today. Oh, I was gonna sack him. Eh, whatever. Let's see, rune sticks, survival instincts one, dig deep. Honestly, I need none of these. Well, we could do dig deep for free healing, but we need none of these. Let's not bloat my hand with things that I don't immediately need. Alright. He's not going to attack me. I can do nothing. Evade! What was the point of that? Wow. My max HP got up. Oh, it's pear. That's what happened. Evade! Awaken form. Ceremony. And a free strike. That's a good combo. Yeah, if we can get one energy generation item, we are going to be unstoppable. Foresight. Ritual of body. Defense. Slimed. Strike. Yeah, slimed is hardly a setback when everything is free. Okay. Awakened one ritual, which costs nothing. And this is going to hurt me, but I heal constantly, so like... Who cares? All right, there we go. Oh! The one problem is Huntress Spirit uh, works against me here. Well, at least I get to play Foresight twice. That's hilarious. Yeah, no wonder it was minus one. You got energy from playing it. Yeah, sorry. Okay, Huntress Spirit. Double ceremony. Oh, no, that was a power. Dang it. Well, we get double defend instead. And let's just wail on him. Wee. Evade. Oh, I get energy for playing Force. Uh, not Foresight. Evade, too. <laughs> this is something special. Alright, maybe we should go after the heart. Uh, let's see. 28 damage? Not, not enough. Not yet. We're almost there. Oh, he's actually gonna hurt me. Ah! Oh, how dare you! Okay. So yeah, effectively what I've learned here is I actually need to pick up some big expensive cards to use. Uh, just so that the Huntress Spirit... Big expensive skills, to be precise. Uh, bottled Yo-Yo. Upon pick up, choose a card. Once put it into your discard pile, shuffle it into your draw pile. Or the Sapphire Key. Let's grab the Sapphire Key. Bottled Yo-Yo is pretty good. Another Wings of Steel would be nice, but I don't... I don't think I need it. Alright, so it looks like we're going for a shop anyway. I feel like I could probably go after a Nightmare. With this. Let's upgrade Ritual of Body. That's actually really good. Okay, so Evade Ceremony. Uh, for, uh, Huntress Spirit Foresight. Smack that guy. We're not gonna take damage here, and my dex just went up by two. Yeah, so I gotta I gotta get some more expensive skill. Uh, get some more expensive skills when I get the chance. Uh, it's Evade, more energy. Ah, I'm so close. But sadly, can't sacrifice. Okay, so what do we got? Not much. We should probably pop the ceremony anyway, so let's just do ceremony and defend. The other ones can come later. It's gonna hurt a bit, but I heal constantly. So, I'm not exactly afraid or buggered by this. So let's hit him. And hit him. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. We'll be fine. I might actually heal on the nightmare fight. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Awaken one ritual. Foresight. Strike. 
Takes him down a bit. And let's burn the brace. It's a little premature, but we're going to be killing the fungi beast soon. We better be killing the fungi beast soon. Dang it! I mean, I guess I could just kill the fungi beast instead of the shell beast, or shell parasite. I just want to, well, there's awakened form. Time for Goofy! You can't touch me! You may try, but you will look foolish doing so. Alright. Um... It's actually incredibly tempting to try and do Huntress Spirit on a Ritual component, but I feel like that's a really stupid idea, so I shouldn't do it. Because I don't know if it puts me into the negatives. Okay, so I'm just going to kill the Fungi Beast here. I boost his damage, but it's fine. We should be able to actually just sacrifice him this round. There we go. Close enough. Mantra. That's an attack, though. Brace for impact, gain a plated armor, caw. Deal 5 damage to all enemies X time, supply 1 weak, and vulnerable to all enemies wither 1. Ooh, ouch. Huh. <sighs> Otherwise, Brace for Impact, which is free and gives me plated armor. <laughs> Get another Awaken One ritual? Just go, just go nuts? <laughs> I came for the car, but I stayed for the car. Well, a car. So what do we do? I could get another ritual body, but I don't think I want that. E1, draw a card for each card in your exhaust pile. Stunning blow. No. The problem is I want like two or three cost skills. Huntress Essence. Oh, we actually... No. We don't actually have a whole lot of exhaust based cards. We've got two. That's tough. What's this? Why is the attack potion weirdly colored? Yeah, get the second Awaken One ritual for the ultimate build. Ah, man, I would if I could. Unfortunately, we are 23 gold short. I mean... We could just give myself gold and just go memes, because there's literally no reason to have the Awakened One rituals. Apart from HP farming and energy farming, which, like, I don't even need. I feel like I should save my money. None of these are, are speaking to me. We've got nothing in my deck that I want to get rid of, right? No. Go memes. Go memes. Okay, go memes. We've gone memes. Hello, Nightmare! Oh. Got the mirrors. More aggressive, more powerful. Well then. Uh... This should be fine. Okay. Evade. Brace for impact. Foresight. In retrospect, probably should have done survival instinct, but whatever. Okay. Awaken uh, One Ritual. Ceremony, Wings of Steel, and Defend. Yeah, I should probably upgrade the, uh, uh the Wings of Steel, but whatever. Later. Uh, let's see. So, Evade, Ritual Component, Ritual Component. We do have Sacrifice, but that's not gonna help me that much. So we'll just do that. I'll take some damage here, but it's not so bad. And you could sell your relics. I actually wouldn't have enough money. So one, I don't want to sell any of these relics because they're all pretty great. Two, uh, I wouldn't be able to cobble enough money because you'd have to buy the rug to sell the stuff back. And I'm not actually rich enough for that yet. Dontra Spirit, Foresight, Energy for Days. Next round. But I'm going to be totally honest, it's one of those where uh, I... I care 
only a little bit about uh, giving myself gold occasionally. If I have to hax in some extra cash for dumb memes, then, well, we're haxing in extra cash for dumb memes. I mean, this is already the Kaka build. Let, how, <laughs> how could anybody take this fully seriously? I hope nobody's taking this fully seriously. <laughs> You're watching the wrong stream for super serious Slay the Spire. And let's brace for impact. And thank you for the 100 bits, Wildemar Kid. Hello! How is it going? Ritual components. Hey, there's Uncanny Aura. Hunter Spirit for even more foresight, which is kind of mostly useless. Yeah, you know those cards that I poo pooed about, uh. Uh, drawing more cards. I desperately need those now. Let's see. I can sacrifice this guy. So yeah, let's just wait. Let's see. Is it a mod? It is many mods. Oh shoot. I just accidentally reused Wings of Steel. Oh well. I don't actually have a whole lot to do at bonfires. So yeah, if we, if we wither out that... There we go. If we wither out that, uh... That one card, it's not the biggest of deals. Okay, yeah, he can't touch me. My, uh, plated armor is becoming out of control. Okay. But no, I don't actually... Whenever I say flippant stuff like, you're on the wrong channel, it's not that I actually want to be like super flippant like get out of here, it's just mainly like, I, I don't know, I've tried to be super serious about a lot of stuff and I think it's just a lot easier for me on a like personal and emotional basis to uh, just kick back and, oh baby, I gotta do it. I'd like that extra, oh. Well, that's neat. Uh, let's grab Fate. Dig deeper. Heal f no. Double your energy. Reach energy gained. Lose. No. I have no problems with energy generation at this point. It's truly uh, card related. So I could remove a card from my deck. Do we have a card that I care to lose? Yeah, actually. Let's get rid of Survival Instinct. I should have never picked it up. Okay, so I can rest or dig. Dig! Tiny chest. Ooh. Okay, so what do we got? Huntress Spirit. Ooh, Huntress Spirit on Ceremony is a good one. That's a... Oh, wait, no, no, no. It didn't count. Dang. Doodle. Uh, let's drink the Dex Potion. I forgot. Ceremony is a... Uh... Ceremony is a power. I forget that fairly often, actually. Oh, no, he's still not going to hurt me. So what? Oh, right. I don't actually know what he does. Yeah, it's not as worth it, but still. Retain, exhaust, pyramid rune. Interesting. Fate! There it is. What do you got? Rewind. That's a bad idea. Final strike might not be half bad. 47 damage? For this? That's good. Uh, let's see. Final strike! It doesn't exhaust, right? Yeah, that's some damage. Okay. So, we don't know what the heck he's going to do here. That is weirdly disconcerting. Well, you know what? I'm going to evade him. Uh, and a ceremony. We'll do awaken form later. Oh, he was going to hit me. Okay, let's do foresight, pyramid rune, pyramid rune. Get rid of those. And just tank up a little bit. So I've got, what? Two rituals. Okay, I've, I've got two rituals going. Oh no, one ritual. Now I'm up. Now I'm up to two. 
All right, so I've done all my ceremonies. Give her to the rune. Strike him, strike him. We've got a decent amount of plated armor. Oh, did he make it so I can't see what he's up to? Yeah, he dome-shaped runed me. That's what happened. Well, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Praise for impact, some other stuff. Okay. Hit him. Oh, he heals, doesn't he? Oh, but it's... Wait, after you spend 8 energy, he heals 20 HP. So wait. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do that. Now if I do this, does it go back up? No, it does not tick back up. No, he hit me with something that makes it so I take damage now, it looks like. It's a new one? Okay. Well, it's not a big deal. Okay. We... Wow. That hit me kind of hard. Hunter Spirit, double defend. Unfortunately, my dexterity is kind of garbage. The other thing I would like is the... Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of that. Wow, he has just filled my deck with pyramids, hasn't he? Uh, we should be fine. All that plated armor does amazing stuff to keep me going. I do not have a whole lot of offensive cards. Pretty much my entire, entire deck is filled with pyramids. Which really isn't actually, like, a big deal, but, uh... Can't do much. So Cubic Rune is the effect that's hurting me. Oh yeah, whenever you draw a card, deal one damage. Damage at the start of your turn can be prevented with the previous turn's block. Okay. Good to know. Luckily, I gain block just by using abilities here, so not a big deal. Th 36! No! One! One away! <laughs> ah! This keeps happening. Alright, we gotta wait for Sacrifice to roll back around then. I guess I can take him down that notch. And yeah, I've got so much plated armor. I, it's pretty much impossible for him to hurt me at this current point in time. Uh, and we don't want to hit him with a strike. Okay. Gotta test it. Hunter's Spirit, Ritual Component. Does not impact my energy generation. That's good. There it is. Give me HP. It's a redux from yesterday. Okay, so machine essence. Whenever you gain healing, heal an additional one. Eh. At the end of your turn, retain all unplayable cards for each deal damage equal to a random enemy equal to your strength plus one. <gasps> yes! 